guys. Today we will... What? What? Follow your example and make an outfit for our Barbie. Oh, wow. Now what are we waiting for? Inflate the balloon and I will burst it in no time. <laughs> nope. No need to burst things. We have to do everything nicely and carefully. Hey, hey, hey. You just wasted a good balloon. I didn't even get to play with it. I didn't waste anything. I'm just updating our doll's wardrobe. Look what an awesome dress is coming out. Careful, don't rip it. Otherwise, the balloon will be wasted for no good reason. Don't worry, I always do it carefully. Okay, okay, I'll believe you for now. Oh, thank you, Mr. I trip on a smooth spot. I just stepped on a shoelace. <laughs> what shoelace? You don't wear any shoes. On your shoelace, because you always throw your shoes around. Sam, it was you who made that shoe mess when playing with the balloon. Oh, yeah? I didn't even notice. Well, then I withdraw the charges. Sam, what should we make for our Barbie next? Accessories, of course. Right. We'll make a cute choker from this. Oh, and now I'll teach you how to make a cool thing. Ah, <sighs> you can't impress me anymore. I've seen everything in this world. Huh. Wait a second and you won't get a word out. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one, and look. Um. <clears throat> Sam. Wow, that's amazing and so easy peasy. I want to have a bow tie like that too. Sam, where are you off to? I decided that I want to look even more splendid. Check out my new bow tie. Mm, it really is stylish. Way to go, Sammy. Whoa, we look amazing. I think we're ready for any party. And I've got another idea for the outfit. Sam, bring more balloons! So, look at this bright balloon I found. Let's make something from it. Great idea. I'll make a top for a light, cheery summer outfit. First, we cut holes for the head and arms. You need to be careful in order not to cut more than necessary. I know you can make it. Plus, I saw another balloon like this. <laughs> Sam, your support is just the best. What's wrong with it? We all make mistakes. Guys, write in the comments which part of our craft is the most complicated for you. Oh, oh it's not easy to put it on our Barbie. Oh, don't be so stubborn. <laughs> you, you look like a caring mama. <laughs> exactly. So, a little bit more. Done and done. Oh, and what do we make from this? It will serve as the bottom of our outfit. I really like these balloons. You can cut them so easily and the colors are super bright. Look at these pretty folds. So adorable. You must feel sorry that we don't have big balloons like this. Otherwise, you would make some outfits for yourself. <laughs> right, you are. I would totally make a bunch of them. I think something is missing. Sammy, lend me your red bow tie, please. Here you go. I'll make another one for myself. Oh, thanks, Sammy. Now it's perfect. So beautiful. What a bright outfit. By the way, Sue, do you remember that Barbie like fitness? Maybe we could create a special fitness look. Oh, good idea. Let's make it right away. Whoa, those are my forgotten balloons that I hit. <laughs> I was very surprised when I found a stash of balloons in my running sneakers. <sighs> <laughs> so that's where they were. Next time, find a better place for storage. I sure will. She hasn't seen all the cool stuff in her sock drawer yet. Sam, what are you whispering? <laughs> Came up with another prank? I actually already implemented it. But I won't tell you. Let it be a surprise. <sighs> One day I will avenge you for all the surprises. Guys, what did he say? Comment below! No, no! Don't do it! So we need to pull the top onto our Barbie. Oh, Sam, can you help me? How? You want me to cheer for ya? <laughs> do, 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 do it faster! Come on, be great! Way to go! Do it faster! <laughs> Sam, stop it! You're making me laugh! Oh, and uh, what's this? <laughs> it will transform into white shorts. By the way, I have the same pants. I need to find them and wear them for my morning jog. Huh, maybe I should start jogging with you. It seems so refreshing. Oh, it is. I often get new ideas for videos when I'm jogging. Oh, really? I'll get tons of new ideas then. Is that because you always overdo things? No, 
Wow, that's because I'm talented. I just need a little help sometimes. A little help? Well, I needed your help yesterday, but you didn't come. Uh, uh, I was playing and missed your call. <laughs> you know that I have a strict schedule. Sam, you'll find an excuse for anything. But I know for sure that our viewers never miss a new video on our channel. That's because they hit the bell button. <laughs> All done. No, I think something's missing. Oh, you're right. It's not as good without the wristbands. Whoosh. There you go, that's better. Sue, you're a real master. Oh yes, now our Barbie has an awesome sports outfit for everyday fitness activities. Sue, you know what? Let's turn our Barbie into a real princess. Whoa, I actually have an idea for such an outfit. What are we waiting for then? Let's see. First, we'll make the base for our dress. It will be a tight, full skirt gown. Sounds impressive. I hope it will look as perfect. You'll see how awesome it will look when I'm done. Of course, because I'm helping you. You won't do without me. <laughs> Sam, it can't be any other way. You're my main helper. I am also the master cutter and the fastest slime in the world. Deal with it. Uh-huh. And the best glue yourself to gluer. It's not my fault that the glue is so fond of me. Maybe I'm just too good for it. No offense, Sammy. <laughs> Guess what it will be? Uh, a hat? Almost, but not a hat. Uh, maybe a girly baseball cap? <laughs> Sam, wrong again. My professional eye says it's a hat. Don't rush to conclusions, Sam. You'll see now that it's not a hat. You're right, it looks nothing like a hat or a cap. But it makes the doll look like a princess. Oh yeah, right. Sam, we're at the finish line, just a little more to go. Uh, so fast? Ah, I thought we just started. It's because we're very experienced. Guys, do you remember our other videos where we made balloon outfits? Look for the links in the description. Okay, last step and our doll is ready to shine. Sue, don't you think that there's something wrong with the colors? I don't know, what do you suggest? Close your eyes. Sam, you replaced the doll! This dress goes better with dark hair. Sam, you're a true master designer! I guess it's time to open my own clothing company! Slime your salami! <laughs> sure is. Hey, don't touch my splendid mustache! Sorry, Sam! So I'm all dressed up! Where's the princess? Oh, could it be that a Prince Charming came for me? It's the prince himself! Please, my lady, we need to hurry up to the ball! Sam, didn't you forget something? Oh, yes! We will be back before 9 o'clock. <laughs> That's nice, but you forgot to say bye to our viewers. All right. Bye-bye, guys. Give a thumbs up if you liked our craft. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. Bye-bye. Beautiful and unusual. I'd love my outfits to take part in a fashion show one day. <sighs> but to achieve this, I need to study a lot and learn to create new outfits. Fashion design is amazing. I'm glad I started to study it. Hey guys, have you ever created your own outfits? Write in the comments. Right, and I need to practice. Drawing is good. But I need to move on to real-life outfits to understand how they'd look in reality. Huh. I don't have enough fabric. Can't do much with these. And who will be my model? I will! 
Oh, Sammy, thank you so much, but I, I want to make dresses. Oh, uh, I think I'll skip dresses. Oh, use your Barbie dolls! Are they sitting here for nothing? Barbie dolls? Oh, that's a wonderful idea! Thank you, Sammy! You're welcome! I won't only use dolls as models. I'll use Samantha's idea to use balloons! Do you remember the video where Samantha and I made these outfits? Give a thumbs up if you did! Susie, wait for me! Sam, do you remember where the box of balloons is? There were a lot of them left. Oh. Yes, yes, I'll go get it! Oh, and I'll get everything ready! Hi, everyone! We're going to hold a workshop on how to create simple doll outfits. And for me, it'll be fashion design practice. And for me, balloon is fun! Oopsie! <laughs> Can't do without fun! Here's your balloon supply! Great, Jenny, thanks! And for today's outfits, we'll only need colorful balloons of different types and scissors. Don't forget to be careful with scissors. And what will you start with? Hmm, let's see what we have here. Aha! These two balloons complement each other. I'll make a top from the blue balloon. We'll need the wide part of the balloon. I've always wanted to make an asymmetrical top. Right, this is the opening for the arm. And here's our stylish top. Let's make a cool skirt to match it. This balloon will make a wonderful pleated skirt. To make it, we'll need to cut off the top and the bottom part of the balloon. I also made something for myself from the balloon. <laughs> That's stylish. Yeah! And here's our skirt. Time to try the outfit on. Come here, beautiful doll. And... Lizzie, oh, you forgot an important detail. What, Sammy? An accessory I keep hinting. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I'll use the remainder of the yellow balloon to make a hairband. I'll cut off this ring and a piece of the balloon. Right, I need to shape it. Great. Now let's tie this piece around the ring. Done! Let's put it on. Carefully not to tear it. Great! And we also need... Shoes! Wow, Sammy, you can read my mind. I know a thing or two about style. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, let's see. Um, and maybe... Uh, ha! Yes, these. Let's try them on. One, and two. Now it's done! Next, I'll make a dress. It'll be fashionable purple. A ruffled balloon will be great for that. I only need to cut it on the top and at the bottom. There! Come here! You'll have to part with this beautiful angel costume, but there's an amazing dress waiting for you. Let's try it on carefully. Maybe putting a balloon on isn't very fast, but it looks elegant. Done! Only too simple. Yes, let's add a small detail. I'll cut two pieces of a balloon from the narrow part. And two. I'll put this piece on the top of the upper part of the dress, nice and slow, and I'll adjust it. Right, and this narrow piece will go through the wide one. And over the head. Let's smooth it all out, and voila! Time to add some accessories. These shoes will highlight the festive mood of the dress. And a bracelet. And a handbag. Done! Oh, from the heavens straight to the ball. Hello, me, mademoiselle. <laughs> And these two beauties also want new outfits. New outfits? No problem. I've got so many balloons left. Right, let's see which colors will suit each of you. Hmm, this is a wonderful turquoise color for you. And for you, this one. Uh, no. Oh, yes. So bright and sunny. And this clear white to accompany it. Let's go. I'll make a classic sheath dress from the turquoise balloon. Go on, and I'll select some accessories for it. All right, I trust you with this important task. Thank you, Susan, I won't let you down. Right, to make a strict sheath dress, I need to cut off the ring. We'll need it later. And the top of the balloon, just like this. 
Okay, now let's make holes for the arms. I'll cut out neat triangles. It's better to go slowly here. These are our openings. Time to put the dress on. And now we only need to decorate the dress with a cute belt. Like this. Take these shoes. Oh, wonderful, Sam. I couldn't have selected better shoes myself. One and two. And done. Beautiful. A very busy like elegant lady. I'm glad you like it. So let's dress you up as well. This wonderful sunny orange balloon will make a wonderful top. I'll cut it off here, at the top, and at the bottom, to make a narrow strip. But not too narrow. Like this. Let's see. This top is called a bandeau. It doesn't have any sleeves. I think it's a wonderful top for summer. Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree. Wonderful! Let's add a cute detail to our top. A pretty wide ruffle. I'll just cut a piece of the balloon. Right. Let's try you on. Wow, it looks even better than I expected. And this balloon will make a cute summery skirt. We need to cut off the top and the bottom. Let's see how this pretty skirt will look on you. I also had a skirt like this. Very summery. Now, time for shoes. <laughs> All right, Sam. And now it's time to accessorize. Oh, these are wonderful summer accessories, Sammy. Gorgeous. So our summery sunny beauty is ready! Attention everyone! I present to you the first fashion show of our new designer, Susan! Oh, thank you! I'm so nervous! Don't worry, Susie! Your outfits are great! And please write in the comments which outfit you liked most of all. Bye! See you soon! Sue is off thinking about new designs. And you guys, subscribe to the channel to support her. Oh, and hit the bell button to see a new video as soon as it comes out. What's going on? I don't get it. Why are we all here? Dear toys, attention please! We are having the dress rehearsal of my play Under the Sea. You, Big Bash Guy, mm. you'll be King Triton. And you, Chirpers, will play Evil Maury Hughes. Huh? You'll be a seahorse. Mm. Ah, we'll get you a scuba. Okay, where is our star? Who saw the mermaid? Mermaid! I found her, Mr. Director. Look here! Uh -huh. I'm ending my acting career and going on vacation. Bye! Oh no! How could she do this to me? My performance! Ah! Keep it calm. <laughs> I guess I know what to do. We need a double. <laughs> you are the best director assistant. Hi, friends. Look how many CVs I have here. I want to choose her. Everyone, please welcome our new mermaid. Oh, holy cannoli! Is this Holly Bailey herself? <laughs> Not yet. But the doll will look so much like her at the end of this video. I like your trendy outfit, but we don't need it for the transformation. If you're waiting for the Little Mermaid in cinema as much as we do, give a thumbs up! Okay, we are ready to start. The first step is hair coloring. Let's get started! So, don't you think that the underwater world differs from ours? It sure does. We have legs, they have tails. They can breathe underwater and we can't. Uh-huh. If a mermaid wants to color her hair, it will be washed away by water. Hmm, then she'll catch a cuttlefish and use its ink. <laughs> a cuttlefish, you say? Hey, are you a cuttlefish? Wait up! <laughs> While Sam is studying the underwater world, we are done with the hair. Check out this interesting shade. I got it! I won't do it again! Stop! <gasps> Sammy, are you okay? Ooh, I'm okay. Who is Sammy? Do you know who is this mysterious Sammy? Say something! <gasps> oh, 
Holy shark, what have I done? <laughs> Come on, don't say you didn't know it was makeup time. We need to carefully get rid of everything with nail polish remover. What are you saying? Hmm? Ah! Why did you do it? You are cruel! Okay, cut it out already. Better bring me the watercolor pencil. Bring this and that. I might not remember things, but I wasn't a servant. Or was I? Hey, viewers, do you know who I am? You can have rest if you have the amnesia attack. Or more likely a cunning attack. <laughs> yeah, I'm well rested and energetic. And I think I know who I am. Interesting. Will you tell us? A fish herder. I was told we are making a mermaid here, so we are under the sea. I don't want to disappoint you, but you are not him. And the lips are ready. Mm. Then maybe I am. Uh, a shiny fish. I am so bright. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> that tickles. Fish need scales, fins and gills. And they are slick. But you are more... <laughs> Sticky. I know. Something stuck on me again. <laughs> Stand still. I'll help you. This is exactly what I need now. We'll carefully glue the eyelashes here. But let's shorten them. This job is for me. Because I understood that I'm a swordfish. Make way! Oh, great job. But you are not a swordfish. You are... Might be a cool shark. Da -dum. Da -dum. I guess Sam's amnesia is progressing. Dun, 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 let's help dun, dun. him recover faster. You are not a sea Ooh. creature. You are crafter Sam. Pink slick slime. Ooh. I am pink slick slime. Wake up. Ooh. What's going on? What is it? Why the double is not ready yet? <laughs> Welcome back, Mr. Director. <laughs> oh, what? A cookie? And who is gonna make the craft? I should have persuaded him during hypnosis that he's not that bossy. <laughs> we need to fix it with something. Um, not with this. <laughs> Definitely not this. No, we're talking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's sew the fabric like that. But watch out for your fingers, dear friends. Ooh, a needle? In fairy tales, it's a bad <laughs> sign. Uh -oh. Just like an apple in Snow White, can we still eat? I wouldn't risk that. It candies, they're always safe. <gasps> Sammy, wake up! Sammy, wake up! Sammy, wake up! Sammy, uh, are you okay? Uh, huh? uh, Sue, I saw something wild! I need you to check if I did everything right here. I lost my memory and I thought that I'm a shark and, and then an apple talked to me. What an imagination you have! That's why you are directing the play. So, what do you say? Am I doing a good job here? Hmm. Did you sew the tail from the inside? Yep, then I flipped it inside out and dressed up the doll. Is that how you make the scales? Not bad, not bad. Yep, do you want some scales too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Sammy, are you a sneezing magician? <laughs> I guess I have a slime cold. Sammy, this is genius. The tail looked empty, but you fixed it. Let's just add some glitter between the gemstones to make them look like scales. I can't believe it was my occasional genius idea. <laughs> That's why you look so surprised. How do you mean? Woo, the scales look good on me. I could be a sea emperor. Better a starfish. You remind me a bit of Patrick from SpongeBob. Because I am pink? Yeah, that too. What? How dare you? No, you'll see Poseidon's wrath. Ah, what's happening? <laughs> oh, Sam and his wet magic. It is just I was standing too far. Now I can make it. Aqua crash! Wow, Sammy, you decorated the belt. Awesome! But the tail still needs a fin. I'll go find some materials. <laughs> oh, we can borrow it. Oh, maybe from you? Wait. I found some plasticine. We can try making a tail fin from it. Nope. Nuh uh. Should we make a paper fin then? Hmm? No, no, no. This mermaid should look like the previous one. Then we don't have another choice but to do it like we did back then. Ha ha! Shiver me, Chatters! It's even better than the original! We remove the excess carefully, like that. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And we get a wonderful fin. It is like it has some pearly glow, right? I managed to make something too. Let me attach it now. Okay, great. So, we didn't finish our top. What should we do?
Wow! Looks like the craft emergency is here. Let's do it! We'll add a bit of black to the pink base to get the right effect. And now let's top it off with purple. It will look like a real gem! A gem? Yarr! Shiver me cheddars! Oh, here is my treasure. While no one is looking, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll finish the look of our little mermaid 2.0 with some glitters. If you scare me like that, I'll fire you from my performance. Okay, we're good. So, Susie, are we done yet? All extras are ready, just waiting for our start. Let's check everything now. Hairdo, check. Accessories, check. A splendid outfit is also here. Then everything is... <gasps> Wait! Our previous mermaid used to sit in a shell. But we don't have a shell of the right size. What to do? No panic. Builder Sam is going to fix it. Check out this work, ladies. Holy mackerel! This is beautiful! It is like a mini throne! Amazing! Yeah! <laughs> Let's see how are you going to look sitting here. But hurry up! You can't be late for the rehearsal! You replace me? Oh, Trajan? Oh, Susie! Susie! Sammy! Sammy! Wake up! <sighs> that was a lot of stress, that dream! Let's go drink some tea. You'll tell me everything. It was awful! Our old mermaid left us and we made a new one! day for transforming dolls into mermaids. Sammy, what if I show you a more efficient and safe way to do these transformations? Interesting. Oh, hello guys. The work is humming here. Say hi, Alolita. Very soon this box will become a house for our LOL doll. Let's get started. Susie, stop! What about the transformation? I mean, a shiny tail, long hair. All in good. Time, I got it, I got it. 
<laughs> the decoration of our box will imitate the scales. Let's use some lighter scales to reach that iridescent effect. Guys, look how beautiful it came out! So see, look what I've got! Yes, Sammy, I made it! Oh, you? Why? I think this tail is too big for LOL! <laughs> Sammy, it's a decoration for the LOL doll's house! There! Oh, can we glue some more scales? Sure, Sammy! Yeah! One more, so that it sparkles! I'll be back soon and check! Oh, sure, Mr. Checker! Meanwhile, we'll keep working here with our viewers! Right now, we need to cover the side walls. The first stage is done, and it's not a bad start. Seems to me, dear Sue, there's not enough sparkle. There'll be more, just wait. Well, okay, Susie, I believe you. And you guys, write your favorite glitter color in the comments. Now it's time to furnish the mermaid's house. What do you think this is? Hmm, smells nice. Is it edible? <laughs> no, silly, it's shampoo! Really? It smells like a real coconut! <laughs> Let's add some colors. And a little bit more. Our little mermaid deserves the best. And some aquamarine wouldn't hurt. Now let's make it look like the real sea. Just one little thing remains. We should mix it all very well. Susie, add some more glittering scales to make things absolutely clear. Your wish is my command. It will be the most sparkling bedside table in the world. <laughs> and here's your glitter, Sammy. It's also a nice idea to add some little stars. Wow, this bedside table will be awesome! Right, Sammy? What a beauty! Wait! Where's the bed itself? You'll see in a moment. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. <gasps> wow, such cool colors! Is this the bed for our doll? Yes, I chose it myself. This kid reminds me of the sea, the beach, the palm trees. Oh, by the way! Meanwhile, I need to make a blanket out of this slime. What if we add some seashore feel with this beach umbrella? <laughs> Sammy, mermaids live under the water. <laughs> Right, I didn't think of that. Well, then I'll add this sea feel for myself. And for you, of course. Thanks. I've also got an idea. Guys, we need to glue our file with the tip of the glue gun. Be very careful with hot objects. This is what I keep saying! More sparkle. Sue, so, you're a genius. Oh, that's especially nice to hear from you, Sammy. Oh, I guess it's time to call Ella Rita. Okay, right, just don't open your eyes. Ta-da! Here, Lolita, this is your new bed. Let me help and cover you with a blanket. Sue, do you think she likes it? Oh, I think she likes it very much. Aha! Uh -huh. Only, why is she still not a mermaid? All in good time, Sammy. Before transforming our doll, we worked on the interior and exterior of the house a bit more. Now let's move on to our mirror. Sammy, what are you whispering there? Hello, Lita just fell asleep. She needs to have a good rest before the transformation. Wow, you even made a mirror? Yes, this way she can admire her new looks. <laughs> and remember those who helped her, of course. Oopsie! <laughs> Sammy, right, it's time for the most important stage, making a mermaid tail for our LOL doll. Phew! Lola is rather whiny today. Maybe new clothes can cheer her up? Wow, is that a real mermaid tail? Exactly. Cool. We've almost made a real transformation. Transfiguration, I'd say. And no one needs to sacrifice anything. Ah, uh, certainly. Look at this cute tail we made. Beautiful. What about the top for the mermaid? <gasps> right, how could I forget? Susie, Susie, I always have to remind you of things. Susie and the sparkling scales. That I didn't forget. Now everything is ready. Susie, do you think mermaids exist for real? Perhaps. 
Sea creatures like mermaids are mentioned in folklore all over the world, not without a reason. So they exist for sure! Until someone believes in them, they do exist. I do believe. I'll start collecting information about them right now. Oh, that'll be an interesting project, Sammy. I'll be glad to help you with it. Guys, you can also help us. Write in the comments some facts about mermaids you know, and I'll add them to my project. Are you kidding me? Susie! Susie! What's going on? Don't you think the mermaid's missing something? What? Long, beautiful mermaid hair! Right, Sammy, bring the wig right away! Be right back! Mer Slime is here! I think it belongs to Lolita. I know, I was thinking, why don't I transform into a Mer Slime? I think you look perfect just being a slime. Oh, Sammy! Look how adorable she is! Yeah, as a first time I wouldn't be so beautiful. And this hair, how oh, wonderful! Well, Alita, our dream has come true. Mwah. <laughs> Do you think we can transform her into a mermaid, too? Uh, I think that's another story. Guys, I hope you like the transformation of our LOL doll into a long-haired mermaid. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give a thumbs up. Bye-bye. And then I'll brush and brush and brush and brush my hair. Huh? Where am I? Sammy, have you seen my hairpins? Ah, uh, he probably can hear me. Oh, there it is. Uh-huh, one more. Hop, I knew that. <laughs> Sammy, I've been calling for you. Oh, madame, you look gorgeous. This hairdo is perfect. My hairpins! Ah, oh, Sammy, what's going on here? Ah, oopsie, I thought you no longer needed them because they were literally all about the house. Oh, you're right. I guess I need a special organizer for my hairpins after all. Let's do it! Oh, it's gonna be a new craft! Hi, guys. Today we're making an amazing and super useful organizer for hairpins and comms. And this little lady here gave me an excellent idea of what our organizer should look like. Hi, Sue. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Maybe. <laughs> Let's make a little mermaid organizer from very thick cardboard. Yay! I was right! At first, we need to draw a silhouette. Let's get started! This is gonna be so much fun, I promise! Make sure to make it big enough, guys, so that it fits all the hair stuff you might want to put in it. <laughs> guys, I'd like to remind you that there are a lot of videos about different organizers on our channel, so go subscribe! And we're done! Now we'll just need to cut the whole thing out. Guys, be very careful with the cutter. It's really sharp. Or you can ask an adult to help you, because this cardboard is pretty thick. I always trust you with this kind of work. She's great at it! Aw, thanks, Sammy. <laughs> now that the silhouette of our mermaid is ready, we can make it look more natural. Let's make your upper part beige, closer to the color of the skin. Hop. <laughs> and turquoise will be just perfect for her tail. Awesome! Not exactly. I have some other plans for her tail fin. But we'll get to that in a minute. For now, let's work in some shades. A regular Q-tip will do the trick. We'll simply smudge this line like this. See? How cool is that? Now we'll do the same thing all around her body and face. And that's it! Well, what do you say, Sammy? <laughs> I say it's time to make her an impressive look! So, we drew the mermaid's face, but to make it look awesome, we need to come up with a cool makeup. 
Let's start with the eyes. It is important to draw them symmetrically, of course. Susie, did you know that there are six main types of eyes in terms of shape? Round, monolid, hooded, downturned, upturned, and almond. I wonder which type I have. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Sammy, your eyes are round, I guess. And mine are probably almond. And which type of eyes this beautiful creature is going to have? Well, we're just about to see that. <laughs> Okay, now that we have the nose, we can rightfully say that her eyes are symmetrical. Right, guys? Uh-huh. And they seem to be upturned. But what about their color, Sue? I think it should match the color of the sea. I mean, she's a mermaid after all. <laughs> so we'll go with a beautiful blue. Sammy, since you're an eye expert, do you have any information on the colors of the eyes? Hmm? Well, of course. Ahem. <clears throat> the colored part of the eye is called the iris. It can be of different shades of blue, green, brown, done with the blue. Now it's time for white. Ha! Sammy, look! I prepared the eyelashes for a mermaid! <laughs> Sammy, these kinds of eyelashes won't do. We're just gonna draw them on later. But first, let's use the darker color to draw the upper eyelid. Like this. And here come the actual eyelashes. Mm-hmm. Like this. Don't forget about her lips too, Susie. This color will be just perfect. Oh, you're right, Sammy. This pale pink is very beautiful and mermaidish. <laughs> this actually gave me an idea about her hair. Stay tuned, guys. The most creative part is yet to come. Guys, it's time to deal with our mermaid's tail. It'll have several layers. We've already glued the craft foam layer, and we'll have this pretty piece on top. Actually, it's very easy to make. Sam is doing it right now, making the side fins. Sue, I need help. I cut the fin out of plastic and covered it with nail polish. But what's next? You need to add a pattern with a marker. Here, let me do it. Uh, thanks, Susie, but you know, I don't get it. I said that this mermaid is somehow going to be an organizer for hairpins. But so far, I don't see any compartments or anything. Hmm. <laughs> don't worry, Sammy. I'll explain that. We're about to make one pretty big pocket. But first, we need to finish with the fins. Huh? But you've already finished! Yes and no. Now we need to attach them to the tail. Here comes the first one. There you go. And another one. Great. And now we'll take one more piece of foam paper to make the pocket I was talking about earlier. It's important to not glue this part right here. Oh, now I see! We can put, say, a hairbrush through this opening! Exactly. But, so you're not gonna just leave it like this, are you? Of course not. It's time to work on the details. We'll need some felt. I'm gonna use some magic right now, guys. So watch closely. Bibbidi bobbidi subscribity. Whoa! Guys, did you see that? She just made the fish scales! Yep, I did. <laughs> now we need to glue these all around our mermaid's tail. Let's start from the bottom. We need to glue the scales with an overlap to make them look as natural as possible. Guys, we've already made quite a few different mermaids. You know where to find those videos! <laughs> we'll also use some shiny details to make the tails sparkle beautifully. Huh. <laughs> this work for me is kind of meditative. Even though I must admit it's quite time-consuming. <laughs> but you may want to ask your friends or parents to help you. Creating together is always fun. <laughs> Am I right, Sammy? Um, Sammy? Yes, Sue! And I actually have an idea! Be right back! <laughs> I wonder what this little slime has in mind. Yours. I'm here, Sue! Make way! All this goes here. Uh-huh. Everything is ready! You can check it out! <gasps> wow! It turned out wonderful, Sammy! Just look at those feather-like scales, guys! I love it! Let's just add one tiny detail. These beads look like magical pearls, don't they? Done! <laughs> 
Now we'll make her top just like we did her tail. Whoosh! And let's move to the final step, her hair. Whoa! What's happening? Ah, uh, Sue! <laughs> Nothing special. I'm just beginning to work on our mermaid's hairdo. This will be the front part. Let's make a tie. Like this one. And cut the extra. Be careful with the scissors, guys. Now we can glue this whole thing to the head. Like this. And now let's shape the hairdo this way so that her cute little face stays open. Wow, I really like how her hair matches her tail and everything! You bet, Sammy. <laughs> I totally agree with you. There's only a couple of final touches left. Do you mean these fish friends? That's right. Let's glue them. Hop. <laughs> and our little mermaid is done. Not exactly. Here are all your hair accessories. Let's put them in their new places. Oh, she is perfect. Now all my hairpins are going to be stored in one place. And no one will steal them. <laughs> Thank you for being with us today, guys. Browse our channel for more cool videos and don't forget to give a thumbs up on this one. It was nice seeing you, boys and girls. Bye-bye.